Hey everybody, welcome back. We're currently in Blender and the reason for that is that I'm going to show you how to create, move the props that you create in Blender into Das Studio. Before I get started, a huge thank you to everyone for subscribing and hitting that notification icon. That really helps me out. And of course, an even bigger thank you to my members and patrons. Your names will be running across the bottom of the screen at the end of the video. If you are interested in supporting the channel, you can either become a channel member or you can visit the Patreon linked in the description below. So let's jump into this then. So we've got this wine bottle and cork board and everything that I created in one of the Blender videos. And what I want to do is I want to actually put this into that studio so that I can use it as a prop or something in the background. And to do that, it's actually relatively simple. So I'm in object mode. What you can see is I've turned off the camera and the light just so they're out of the way. I've got the bottle, the bottle cork and the cork mat in the scene and I've dragged and I've selected them all like so. All I'm going to do is I'm going to go to file, export, wavefront OBJ. And as you can see, I've already got the file folder selected, the blender stuff. And then in the name tab, it should really populate it with the automatic name from the, just take the blend out and put OBJ in there. If you need to do any scaling, now obviously if you were actually creating props you would want to make sure that you had some kind of idea of the scale. Um, I'm not, I'm going to fudge it, I reckon this is probably going to be too small so I'm just going to go up to like 4, 4 times thereabouts, 3.94, export OBJ and then that's all you need to do in Blender. Now you just jump across into Das Studio as I am here and then we're going to go to file import and we're going to select our OBJ which I'm doing off screen and then it's going to come up with all of this stuff here and one thing to pay attention to is scale I would leave scale at 100% in Das Studio and do all of your rescaling in Blender um, so that all you have to do in Das is tweak it once it's actually in the scene otherwise things are going to get a little bit piggledy piggledy just leave everything else as standard and we're just going to hit accept and then as you can see our wine bottle has appeared in our scene with the materials that we created notice that the UVs if I just zoom in my center on that notice that the UVs though haven't ad actually been added yet although it, or if they have they've been added in wrong uh, and that's something that we can change if we go into our surfaces tab we can select our surface here uh, our surface selection uh, brush which is that one sorry and we're going to select our bottle now as you can see it's got a UV added to it but not the one we're after so if we were to just select that and go to browse we can go to our blender stuff file and we can see if our UVs are in there um, and if they're not then we can obviously find them or make some new ones but essentially this is how you do it you've got your object here this is just going to be a background prop so it hasn't got to be super detailed looks pretty good i'm quite happy with that and it looks nice and round and it has got a little bit of a false reflection added to it by the looks of it if we were to change our yeah that's a that's a reflection that's come out of them at the uh, the export by the looks of it but that's really it that's all there is to it guys because you exported those different objects from Blender as one file, they're now all the same file. The surface groups are different, as you can see. They've got two different materials. We've got the cork, or the cork and the board are the same material, and then the glass bottle is the same. And that's because in Blender, we actually use the same material for those two objects, and then we use the glass material for the bottle. Either way, it's incredibly useful. This should open up an awful lot of avenues for you to create your own objects that is simple enough to use Blender. Either way, I hope you found that useful. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I will see you in the next video, guys. But until then, you take damn good care of yourselves, all right? Bye-bye.